Yes. I wanted a frank discussion um, about what house builders and in institutions were doing and how Brexit had affected them. We had a really interesting panel to have both Tony and Steve, who are always great together, so they could have the house builders view. And then of course we had Ryan and Peter who could look at it more from an investor, build to rent view. And having James uh, from the mayoral office, I mean, that was brilliant. He had such a good insight. I think the panel are very concerned that there is continued uncertainty in the market. And there will be continued uncertainty until the politicians sort themselves out. Tony Pidgeley was very clear that the Conservative Party, amongst others, need to sort their leadership out and get some leadership going. We need this country to be led. It's so important, particularly at the moment, that we get a party that can lead us properly. And that came through the panel very, very clearly. I think David Cameron's words for the next few months is going to be, well, I would like to see that happen, but it's not my decision. That's a decision for the next Prime Minister. And I think that's a real trouble at the moment. The Mayor is in a slightly different position. Sadiq Khan is new to the job and he will be wanting to make his mark. He is firmly against us leaving the EU. However, I think he realises that you know it could well be a done deal. But he needs to drive London forward and that is his job and that is his role. And I think having the influential panel that we do, they will keep saying their ideas and hopefully someone will start listening. Well, the panel were very clear. Uh, Tony and Steve were very clear that it was business as usual and that they wanted to help drive forward. I mean, Ryan and Peter, they come from a slightly different perspective and it's investments and they're a little bit more cautious. But I think the longer we are before Article 50 has been triggered, actually the market may well settle. People are going to think, well, hang on, come on, let's just get on with things.